here and today I have Tyler, a great friend in town from Oklahoma visiting and he's also an awesome bike mechanic. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to put some new bar tape on my brand new blue AC1. Sweetness! So does this sound like a good idea Tyler? Sounds like Alright let's get after it. So we've already got my bike set up. It's on the trainer so we don't have to mess with it. And then the other thing I know Tyler already did is he electrical taped all the cables to the bar. So from now on, I think I'm going to just give it over to Tyler because I'm clueless from now on out. All right. When wrapping the bars on your bike, there's going to be a couple things that a basic bar tape kit is going to come with. It's going to come with two rolls of bar tape, usually two short pieces of tape, two bar end plugs. All you're going to need is a roll of electrical tape and a decent pair of scissors. So we're going to start off by grabbing the first roll of bar tape. When you wrap your bars, you're always going to start at the bottom and work your way up towards the top. And you're always going to wrap from the inside to the outside. That way when you're riding and you're grabbing the handlebar, you're always going to be moving in a tightening motion as opposed to a loosening motion. This particular bar tape has an adhesive backing. So there's a little protective layer on here you're going to need to peel back and get out of the way. And to start, you're just going to overlap it about 50% hanging off the end of the bar. Grab one end with your thumb firmly and pull so that it stretches. As you do that, you're going to wrap it around, hold it in place, and overlap the first part that you laid on there. That'll hold it in place from this point out. Now, as you move up the handlebar, tightening it, you're going to pull and stretch the tape. And as you work your way around, keep it tight and try and overlap the tape about 50% as you work up the bar. So can you pull it too tight? You can pull it too tight. If you pull it too tight, you'll actually tear or break the tape. And at that point, you have to get another set. All right. But also, make sure to have it tight enough. Because if it's not tight enough, it'll loosen. Okay, right. Yes. these. There is a small piece of adhesive backing on that, so remove the protective film. Take the short piece. On the back side of the brake lever, there's a small metal clamp. Typically you can use this as a guide. Put the small piece on there, covering the little metal piece. That way, as you wrap the tape around it, you'll cover up all of the bar and the brake. We'll hold that in place and just continue wrapping. Once you get on the side, just move up, go up and over the top, and continue wrapping the bar. Just overlap the brake there just a little bit? Just overlap it just a little bit, that way when the rubber boot is moved down over the brake, it'll all be covered. stopping point for your tape. There's going to be a couple different methods used to cut the end of the tape. My personal favorite is to actually wrap the tape a little bit farther than you want it to go. Once you get to that point, you're going to grab the scissors that we talked about earlier and just make a small scribe in the tape small line. Back the tape off a little bit. Follow that line with your scissors and cut it smooth. Now that you have that, continue to wrap it around and that line will leave you a perfectly smooth transition every Sweet. time. I like it. 
Now that you have that, you're going to grab your roll of electrical tape, place it on the tape, and wrap it around. Typically, I wrap it three times. Once, very tight, slightly overlapping the edge of the tape, and that will seal off the edge of the bar. The second time, slightly looser, making sure to cover up any loose edges towards the bar tape side. And the third time, I go very loose, just laying it over it, not applying too much pressure so that the tape won't want to unravel. Make a small cut so that the tape will stop on the bottom side of the bar. Press the tape down all the way around. Pull the hood down over the bar and notice it covers up all of the gaps where we placed the small piece earlier. The end of the bar where you started, just push the tape into the inside of the handlebar. Take the bar end plug that was provided with the kit, press it into the handlebar, and you're done. Woohoo! Look at that. Nice work. All right, we're ready to go ride. Thank you so much, Tyler. No problem. Let's go hit the road. Oh wait, it's snowing. See you later.